Hey folks, welcome back to another video in the series of AZ400. Now, uh, I won't be wasting much of your time and I would be directly jumping to the topic. So today I would be taking as day zero. So in day zero, we are going to decide like what would be our approach and how we are going to divide this into parts where I would study for something and I would tell that, okay, this is something that I have studied. This is how you can do it. I'm not going to go into the nitty gritties. This would be not uh, the videos would be not more than five to six minutes in which I'll be telling that how I have done it and how you can do it. All right. And max to max 10 minutes. Okay. So uh, this would be the approach. So uh, without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Okay. So you can see that we're going to talk about the day zero. So day zero means uh, let's talk about the introduction. So we are going to talk about the introduction part. So you can check it as a prerequisite. So what is the prerequisite to this exam? I'm not talking about the exam that you have to give for this certification. I'll be talking about what to study as a prerequisite. So uh, you would need to know a basics. Uh, let's say you need to know the basics of DevOps. So that would be the first thing that you need to know. I mean, you cannot directly jump into AZ400 if you do not know the basics of DevOps. So this is something that you need to know. Uh, the second thing is you should have an idea of agile methodology. What exactly is agile? So I'll, I'll, I'll not type the whole, this is methodology. Uh, you need to have an idea of this, what exactly it is going to happen. Uh, on, and a part of it is known as Scrum, which is a Scrum process. You need to know this as well. And then uh, what exactly is DevOps? So basically DevOps is development plus operations, right? So that would be something that you need to know. And uh, uh, random stuff about DevOps. So that is, I think, uh, would be the prerequisite so, to it. So uh, about DevOps, let's let's write this about DevOps. Okay. So uh, basically, these are the things that you need to know. Okay. And uh, if you want to do hands on, I'm not going to do much hands on it. But uh, I can tell you like how you can create the account and you can do hands on on it. All right. I'll be talking about the theoretical part in this uh, whole series that what exactly I have done. So this is one part. All right. Okay. Now this part is covered. So now we'll discuss about the study guide so this study guide whatever i'm going to tell you is a part of uh sorry study guide this is exactly the part of an official document so whatever i'll be telling you is a part of official document you can go to the az 400 website and you can go through that and you will find the same information okay so uh, the first question that generally people ask is how to earn the certification, how I can earn this certification. Okay. So generally what happens sometimes there are exams that you can give one exam and you can get certified. You'll be getting the certification. Perfect. But there are sometimes one plus one, two exams that you have to take, then you can get the certification. Okay. In this case, uh, if you want to take the exam AZ 400, you're free to do, you can do that. But ideally the process is you have to go for AZ 104 plus AZ 400 to get a badge of a certification. You get a badge after that. Okay. Now, uh, the second question is generally what is a, like, how do you renew the certificate? So renewal part, uh, how do you renew it? So once you earn your certification, don't let it expire ideally, but obviously it's going to expire. So when you have an active certification and that expires within six months, uh, you can renew it at no cost by passing a renewal assessment at uh, Microsoft Learn. Remember to renew your certification annually if you want to retain it. Okay, so you can easily retain it. Let's talk about the third one and connecting your Microsoft Learn profile. So your Microsoft Learn profile should be connected uh, uh, because what happens is uh, connecting your certification profile to learn brings all the learning activities which you do together. Uh, you'll be able to schedule and renew exams, share and print certificates, badges and transcripts and reviewing your learning statistics inside your Learn profile. So MS Learn profile has to be update okay so this is i hope you will do it the next thing that we are going to discuss is uh, passing score yeah so passing score is one of the main thing that people ask so what is exactly the passing score so passing score is around 700 uh, not less than that just 700 so even if you get 700 then you are pass last time i remember if i i got around 750 or 850 uh, in this exam easy 400 okay uh, and this should be uh, fine so there would be a uh, uh, request accommodations uh, if you if you want uh, that uh, I want to do this I want to uh, take it exam from from home so you have to book it accordingly okay so that would be the request part and request uh, on the part like uh, you want to 
changed something in your name and you have uh, while booking the exam you did not pay attention and there is some wrong spelling and the person that going to take the exam is not able to take the exam so that's why you can raise the request for that for that you have to go to microsoft website okay and then there are uh, practice tests as well so i'll be talking about the practice test uh, when i'm going to uh, give it so this would be my exam is on 4th of december and i'll try to make a video every day so that uh, you can be aware about it and that does not matter that you have to take your exam within a course of like 10 days you can uh, i mean if your speed uh, is like uh, one week you can you are a working professional you cannot give much time then i think you can uh, take it slow oh, that's that's not an issue okay perfect okay so now this is the most important part so i'll be choosing the color red over here which is what what exactly happens over here so i'll be just performing this line okay so this is the skills that are measured so this is one of the most important thing how i'm going to be tested in terms of questions okay so the first thing is configure processes and communication so configure processes and communications okay i'm typing it like this uh, do not worry i mean you can type the whole one so this constitute to 10 to 15% of the total exam okay and if it is kind of slow for you so you can move it for 1.5x and you can uh, uh, you can hear the video if, if this video is too long for you okay the second thing we are going to discuss about is design and uh, implement design and implement source control so basically your git uh, azure azure repositories will come in in this okay source control so this will take around 15 to 20 percent which is a massive chunk percent of the whole one now the third one i'm going to type at the end because that's the biggest chunk I'm going to talk about fourth and fifth first. So the fourth one would be develop a security and compliance plan. Compliance plan. So develop a security and compliance plan. So this would be something. Okay. Plan. So this would take around 10 to 15 percent of your exam questions. So okay. -ish. And then implement an instrumentation strategy. So this will be the last thing. Implement an instrumentation strategy. Instrumentation strategy. Okay. So this is going to 10 to 15% of your exam. Now the last and the most important thing is design and implement build and release pipelines. And this is something that they're going to tease. So you have to design slash implement design i mean you have to perform architecture kind of a thing implement i mean you have to write them build and release and this is the core this is the most important part release i'm sorry the spelling is wrong release pipelines i'll write pl that's that would be understandable 40 to 45 percent this is major chunk. so chunk of this so if you have to make some kind of mastery make sure that you cover this area this is the most important part that is going to take so if you have a pen and paper then you can write it otherwise you can go through the video uh, listen it like a podcast or something and then you'll be able to do it okay so this is something like that so uh, now there is multiple there are multiple ways that uh, this can be uh, this can be studied you can study anyone first anyone anything at the last but most important thing is you should be having hands on on that otherwise it won't be uh you won't be able to uh, pass the exam okay so uh just make sure that these things you already know uh, what exactly comes under it uh, we can uh, define it later okay let, let me define it right away so when we talk about configure processes and communications we mostly talk about planning and implementation of a structure like for a flow of work and feedback cycles we talk about integrating pipelines with work item tracking tools such as azure devops and github then we uh we talk about uh, configuring collaboration and communication, communicate actionable information by using custom dashboard in Azure DevOps, documentation, uh, document a project by using tools such as wikis and process diagram, configuring notification by using webhooks. So uh, this is that what we do in this. Okay, I'll be elaborating when I'll be uh, reaching to this one by one every time. I'm just giving an overview. 
Second thing is design and implement source control. So there are three things that are most important in this is designing and implemented implementing a source control strategy, which includes designing a strategy for managing large files like Git LFS, Git fat, implementing workflow hooks, planning and implementing branching strategies for the source code. I think I have made a video on that as well. Configure and managing repositories. This is more of like this. So, so this is something that you have to do. Okay. The third one would be design and implement build and release pipeline. So what would be doing in this is designing and implementing a package management strategy, basically new get package management, like Azure artifacts, GitHub packages, design and implement package feeds, this and that I'll be making a PPT out of it. And I'll be showing you that, uh, whatever we are studying and designing an integration of automated test into a pipeline, designing and implementing comprehensive testing strategy, all is a part of this. So basically deployment part will come in this, and this is the most important part. Okay, I will be talking about that in detail. And then we have uh, developing a security and compliance plan, which is this one, this is 10 to 15%. Per we'll be talking about at automate or security and compliance scanning, implement an instrumentation strategy, not, not, not that, design and implement, implement a strategy for managing sensitive information in automation, like uh, managing service connection, personal access token, key, secret certificate, Azure key wall, GitHub secret, Azure pipeline secret, and all that. That's what we are going to do over here, all right? And then uh, implement an implement an instrumentation strategy. So this is basically configuring monitoring uh, for a DevOps environment. So how do you monitor them? Azure monitor will talk about configuring alerts for the pipelines. We'll talk about managing access control and monitoring platform. This is something that we are going to talk about. And metrics is also a part of this. All right. So this is what uh, we are going to do. Okay, so I think uh, you folks have understood like what exactly is going to happen in this and this is day zero as I've already told about and uh, we haven't uh, uh, done anything till now. This is something you are creating a plan. So uh, I'll be dividing into uh, 10 parts. So 10 videos basically uh, from now on, not, not this one. This is day zero, 10 videos in this 10 videos uh, from day one. So day hash one till day I'll be talking about the topics that I've been studying about uh, what I have done, what you can do differently. Uh, not much time, like not more than five to 10 minutes, because that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to make some kind of uh, like, uh, hands on videos, not not that I'll be talking about what I did differently. And then I'm going to take an exam on 4th of December. Okay, so this is the 10 videos that I'm going to take care. All right, so I hope uh, you have understood like uh, what exactly is going to be in the exam and uh, in the new videos, I'll be talking about uh, what exactly I'm doing and what you can do and what study I'll, I'll be discussing about the questions as well at the end of at, at the end of this uh, course. All right, so I hope you have understood everything. If there is anything, feel free to comment below and we will address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.